Welcome to the Weekly Dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today we're going to talk about the idea of Shabbos Kodesh and it being the center of Kedusha for the entire week. As we know, we read on the Shabbat, Uverachto mikol hayamim, ukidashto mikol hazemanim, Shabbos is blessed. Shabbos is the day that is has such holiness more than any other time of the of or any other time of the of the week or any other time of the year. It's the least understood though because in essence because it comes week after week we don't necessarily get excited over it we don't necessarily appreciate its value and understand its purpose in essence Shabbat Kodesh comes and it goes there's so many aspects to Shabbat Kodesh that we don't even understand all the different halachas why can't I you know uh, uh, cut toilet paper what does it matter if I use a bar of soap all of these different aspects of the halachas of Shabbat Kodesh seem to come and confuse us and cause some sort of uh, 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 lowering of our excitement and a pressuring in terms of us our, of our ability to really enjoy it. As we know, the Torah forbids us many different forms of work um, on Shabbat Kodesh. They are called Malechet Machsheves, which are basically creative work. Um, all kinds of acts that have to do with creativity that are connected, of course, to the building of the Mishkan. Those are the ones that are um, not allowed on Shabbos Kodesh. But again, as we say, you know, to someone who's ignorant of Torah, who really has not yet enjoyed the idea of keeping Shabbat Kodesh for them, it is sort of awkward, all of these different stringencies. And yet, there's such a severe punishment for desecration of Shabbos. It, it's it's so severe to the fact that Chazal say that desecrating Shabbat is like denying the truth of the entire Torah. That's what the Midrash te- teaches us. So what we understand is that Shabbos Kodesh must hold something so amazingly filled with Kedusha, but that we just simply don't understand. In another place in the Torah, we're also um, we also learn that if someone uh, if this, the Kohen Gadol uh, desecrates or or uh, you know steers away a little bit of the of the slightest uh, piece of halacha when he's carrying out his task in the Besamikdash, he too is subject to the death penalty, just as someone who is uh, who God forbid desecrates Shabbat Kodesh. So we see here that obviously both of them, both Shabbat Kodesh and the Besamikdash, hold such a great holiness. The question is, what is it that Shabbat Kodesh offers to us that we can understand and we can hold on to in terms of the idea of its Kedusha? And how can we make ourselves excited over it again? I mean, the best of Mikdash is the, is, is the best of Mikdash. It's the center of the world, was the heart of the entire world. The whole world depends on its heart, on the best of Mikdash. And we all know, even in a regular body, if something goes wrong with someone's heart, God forbid it affects everything else in the body. And so we see here that the best of Mikdash and Shabbat Kodesh are both considered the heart. Shabbat Kodesh, the heart of the week, and the Besa Mikdash, the heart of the world. And so what we understand here is that all of the six days, as we know, derive all of their vitality from Shabbat. All of the world derived vitality from the Besa Mikdash. Why is it that when Tisha B'Av falls out on Shabbat, it's postponed to Sunday? So Chazal teach us that the Kedusha of Shabbat Kodesh fills the vacuum that's left in in place of that destruction of the Besamekdash, which means that on Shabbat Kodesh, we in essence have our Bet HaMikdash. Ufros aleinu sukkat shlomecha. A shelter of Kedusha is spread over the entire Jewish people. In essence, every Shabbat Kodesh, it's like we enter into the Bet HaMikdash. 
And we could see also here that when we went up, Bezrat Hashem, soon again, when we went up on the Shalosh Regalim and we entered into the Besam Migdash, we would, we would um, see the Kruvim, the Parochet would be unveiled and, and the Kohanim would go ahead and show all of the Jewish people how the Kiruvim, the, the cherubs, would be hugging one another and they would say to the Jewish people, See how beloved you are to Hashem? Like the love between a man and a woman. So this is it. On Shabbat Kodesh, we're face to face with Hashem. We have a 24-hour embrace and we kiss HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So let's understand that when Shabbos comes, it holds within us the heart of the entire week. Be'ezrat Hashem, we should hold it back and we should continue to feel its warm embrace for the entire week. Have a wonderful Shabbat.